Hi, it's John here. Um, it's been a while since my last video. Um, sorry about that. I've been really busy trying to prepare for college and stuff and taking that next step in my life. However, it has not, however, despite my life being that busy, I have still been able to do my weekly gaming. And a bit of an, as I always do, a bit of an update on that, on that front. Um, I started, the Saturday night game that I plan is doing very well. We started Adventure Module A1, Area of the Slave Lords, which, that game, I'm loving. It was a bit of a rock and a road at one point. Um, I'll probably get into that in another video, just because, really, I, it deserves, the, it probably, I think, merits another video. Moving on. My Friday night Dragonlance game, as where I'm running the Dragonlance modules for my friends who are new to, who have never actually read the books, um, is going very well. We started the third module in that series um, last week, <coughs> and um, that was Dragons of Hope, and we're doing really well. They're doing really well with this. Um, they're really grooving with it. They're really liking the characters, which I was very annoyed. Hell, even the guy playing Tasshoff Burf at the Kenner is really loving it. One, because I didn't tell him to actually steal other party characters. I just said he's a klepto. He picks up, like, little scraps of, like, string and wood chips and that type of thing. <coughs> that was my way around that, that argument. However... There was, uh, I did in the first mo the first module, I did um, say he stole a dagger off the PC, and that was pretty funny. <coughs> Excuse me, I have a bit of a cold today. But uh, anyway, so yeah, we're doing well on that front. Uh, actually, this weekend I won't get to game a lot because I'm going out to my the college I'm going to. Uh, it's my freshman orientation Saturday, so I won't be gaming this week. But next week I'll be back to my full schedule, and then I'll be... Gaming! Yay! But anyway, I want to take this video and I wanted to. And I wanted to kind of mention some other, some side projects I've been working on. Mainly, I've been working on a new. I'm, I'm writing a new campaign. Which is. I don't know. Right now, I don't know if I'm ever going to run it. But it's, it's a good exercise for me, I think. And that is a. It's a basically a thieves guild campaign set in the city of Monmerg, the Hold of Sea Princes in New World of Greyhawk. Um, and uh, I'm really digging this up because I kind of set it up and I've set it to my head, and it really has allowed me to kind of think more on it and think how this should act. Because really, I'm not going to lie, really, I never really, um, with previous campaigns, I just kind of phoned things in. And I was just kind of like, yeah, okay, you know, yeah, okay. And I think now as I, as I get older, I should branch out, branch out to things, try new things. You know, once again, it even I used to do that in the old days, and I find myself lacking it. Mainly, I've been running adventure modules. <laughs> I love them, but I've been running modules. <laughs> or I ran a campaign for 3.5, which was ended in disaster, and my spitefulness got the better of me, and doomed in the party. Sorry, guys. But anyway, yeah, as you can see, I've kind of been going over some notes for a dungeon. This is a rough draft. It's not final, so things may change. But, uh, yeah. yeah I'm going through that. Uh, I've been going through the old first edition stuff, because that's my kick right now. Kind of setting up some dungeons. Um, I don't know if I'm going to run it in first, but, uh, if need be, I'll just make conversions where I need to. Um, because I may run it in some other stuff. I've been really itching to do a, either D&D Next or, uh, Lore RPG, which is fun. If you haven't looked that up, uh, GameFacePublishing.com. It's really good. It's really good. It's, a. Uh, it's still in playtest. I'm pretty sure it's still in playtest. And it's just fun. It's basically free information. You really don't have to sign up for anything. It's just download it, and it's just... I did a playtest on it, and it was... I loved it. And my players loved it. But, uh, yeah. But I really wanted here, uh, on this note, since I'm doing a Thieves Code campaign as this kind of exercise, I want to know, what are your thoughts? 
have you ever done this type of campaign or a campaign with a thieves guild or any type of uh, political intrigue and anything I can do. Uh, and if you want me and if you need any more inf information, uh, just message me or uh, yeah, just just message me here on here and I will be more than willing to give you because I'm really looking for some input on how I can take some some kind of abstract ideas I have in my head and kind of making it work into a plot like I've got this uh if you're familiar with the world of Greyhawk I've got not nothing too many spoilers away if some of my players are watching which I know you are but I I've kind of have this kind of this authority figure who's tied up tied up to one of uh, the main we'll call them the Mages Guild, who are very, very politically connected throughout the world, especially here in Monmerg. And I was just, uh, really, I'm looking at how I can better better tap into that. And yeah, I'm open to opinions. I'm open up to stuff that you guys have done in the past with campaigns or stuff that you've even thought of. Uh, I'm really, I'm really looking for inspiration at this point. And I'd really love to have it. Um, anyway, um, as always, I'm Sean, your friendly neighborhood dungeon master, and always remember to keep on keep on rolling dice, keep on gaming, and have fun.